Kamja is definitely not happy with me filming right now because he's been barking non-stop. Throughout this video, there's gonna be a lot of barking and a lot of him being really sassy. I hope you guys understand. And let's get this video started, shall we? Oh my god, have you guys watched Pigoin or The Defender? I've been super obsessed with the drama lately. I just have to watch like a new episode every time before I go to sleep. That drama is currently my life. Pigoin is about this prosecutor. He was trying to prove someone guilty. He ended up finding himself fighting against like a big corporate people. You can't actually tell who did what to this prosecutor. So you need to like watch one episode to the other and just kind of like think about it. And it's been like my favorite drama because I really want to know who did it and who kind of like framed him. This is not a spoiler. It started from the very beginning of the show. So I highly recommend you guys to watch it because I'm super obsessed with that drama. And by the way, I've been really annoyed with like people around me because I really legit tried to like finish Goblin. I was almost going to the last episode of Goblin but everybody around me like spoiled it to me accidentally. Oh my god, I, I mean I already know what it's gonna happen so I mean there's no point of you know watching the end, right? So I didn't watch Goblin until the end. I have a US haul. I got all of these items from Shop and Box. Shop and Box helped me to get a lot of items that I couldn't get in Korea that are only available in the US. So they have like even different like countries that you guys can look and like what you guys can buy from them and things like that. So I was eyeing on all these products like for a year and now that I got it, I was like, yes! Oh, by the way, do you guys love my background? I just changed like my entire setting and this is like my little background right now and I have my pink flamingo lights right there. I just love it so much. Ah. First of all, I got this sweatshirt from Victoria's Secret. It says Angel, Victoria's Secret, Angel. And I really love how this one goes like really low, like v-neck kind of style, but like slightly wider on the side. So you can actually wear it like off shoulder, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it like that because I think if I wear it out like that, my boyfriend's gonna be like, what are you doing? So I'm just gonna wear it like this and I really like it. I love to wear chokers whenever I'm wearing this. And there's also other sweatshirt that I got, but I couldn't find it today to film. My mom recently came and she stayed with me for two weeks and she revamped my whole apartment. And I honestly don't know where all my stuff are right now because she's just like putting everything, like trying to organize things for me. She's just being a typical Asian mom. So whenever she comes over, it just has to be her house she has to feel like it's her home so I just let her be and I just let her do that but I couldn't find my sweatshirt today but I will put how it looks like right here I really like it because it's really different from any other sweatshirt that I have so it has like a like almost like a turtleneck kind of sort of but it's really loose you can actually pull it up or you can actually just pull it down to make it look like it's really loose and stuff so i like that and i love victoria's secret like sweatshirts i really love how casual it is but at the same time it you can wear it anywhere so yeah i just want to put it out there and then i also got this victoria's secret kimono i really love it because it's really lovely and girly Kamja, let me film I always wanted this kimono because every time I watch Victoria's Secret, you know, fashion show, all of the models will be wearing this backstage. So I kind of just want to feel like Victoria's Secret, you know, at night when I'm just like removing my makeup or things like that. You know what I mean? Moving on to makeup, I got a bunch of stuff right here. Oh, I got this rose gold container from uh, Butter. Butter has a lot of cute stuff. I feel like they're the cheaper alternative to IKEA, but with less options. But it's just really cute stuff in there. So if you guys are really into like like cutesy room kind of stuff definitely go to butter if you guys come to korea they're available at coex at chamshil lotte world mall Hongdae, and then like a bunch of other places the first thing that i got is from too faced i saw this not long ago and i'm all about highlighter these days because you know like your face gets really dry in the winter so i've always been like trying to put on a lot of moisturizer and a lot of highlighters on this area because it gets really dry so i kind of wanted to make it look like dewy you know what i mean i saw this highlighter and i was like oh my god this like the prettiest highlighter ever and it looks like a chandelier it's called Too Faced Candlelight Glow it's the prettiest prettiest highlighter ever it's so pretty I've been really into gold highlighter than the pinky shimmery ones pinky shimmery ones looks good sometimes but I still prefer gold ones because it just made it just fits my skin tone better I like to use the gold one and then when I'm done wearing um, like any blush I'll just layer this color on top and it just gives you that really 
pretty like pinkish, rosy pink, you know, kind of blush color look with slight shimmer. So I love this product so much and it's the prettiest blush highlighter combination that I have so far in my makeup collection. I am so obsessed with ColourPop still. I love their eyeshadows and I love their lip products. So I got four lip products from ColourPop. One, my mom took them so I can't really show you guys but I will let you guys know like the color right here. I got two eyeshadows and one highlighter. So I got two eyeshadows. One is called Lala and one is called Pang. Tang is my favorite because it's a really beautiful toned down taupe color with a slight tinge of like pink in it. I like to apply this on my eyes as a base. It makes the eyes look really like defined but at the same time I love how this one is not as strong as like dark brown color. It just makes it look really like popping but Tang makes it look like lovelier if you guys know what I mean. It's kind of like more of a softer approach than like dark brown color eyeshadows. So the next one is called Lala. Lala is described on the website of ColourPop as a really beautiful rose gold color eyeshadow. In the beginning I thought like oh rose gold color eyeshadow it must be really like pretty like rose gold with a slight tinge of pink in it but it's really rose gold you guys it's kind of a little bit overwhelming for me to wear on my eyes because I feel like I have to do a lot of like smoky and then a little bit of this on the center to make it pop but yeah I, I don't really know how to use this color yet so I'm just keeping it in my makeup collection and just try to figure it out I got this as a highlighter but I realized that it doesn't really look exactly the same as how it looked like on the website so I'm actually using this color as my eyeshadow and I really love it as an eyeshadow it's perfect but as a highlighter I look like a you know like one of those like bronze statue it is the super shock cheek in color might be this is like a perfect beautiful rose gold color with a slight tinge of pink that I mentioned earlier and it looks like this it's beautiful you guys i like to apply this on my eyes right here and, and also on the center whenever i look down it just gives you that really pretty like dimension on your eyes and it's just like so pretty i wear this every time i go on a date with my boyfriend i love anything shimmery for my eyes so yeah i'm not really a big fan of like a lot of matte products but this one oh my god you guys it's the most beautiful rose gold color that i that I own so far as an eyeshadow. So I'm actually using this as an eyeshadow and it's in color might be. Now I'm gonna move on to three colors. I actually have four but my mom took one. I can't really find it here so I'm pretty sure she took it. She loved to take like a lot of my makeup so I'm sorry about that. I got three ultra matte lip color. The first one that I got is in color Love Bug. Love Bug is a really beautiful winter color. I feel like it's kind of like red but like really dark that has like orange tone in it. And the next one is Solo. I used to love Solo when my hair was purple. That looked really nice on my purple hair, but I realized this one is a little too nudie for me for now. I don't know why. Maybe I got really fair and it's kind of like nudie. I don't know. The next one is in color Viper. Viper is also one of those like dark lip colors that if you guys are really adventurous, you guys will love this. But I'm really adventurous when it comes to lip products because I love lip products in general and I'm one of those people I cannot live without my lip balm, lipstick, lip tint, and whatever. So if I can like live with one product, like one makeup product in my life, that will be lips because it just makes your lip, it just make your whole face like come into life, I guess, because every time I'm not wearing any lip products, especially during winter, my goodness, you guys, I look sick all the time. Check it out. This is really pretty. But if I can pick one, it will be Love Bug. Love Bug is the most beautiful one that I've owned so far. And I don't have any of this kind of color in my uh, lip collection. So this is like definitely one that I would recommend if you guys ask me like which one is the best. Love Bug. This lip product was the highlight of last year because everybody made a video about this. And they were like, oh my god, this is like the most beautiful lipstick in the world. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Kylie Jumei? Kylie Jumai? Like back then when I was ordering this, everything was sold out. The red one and the pink one that I wanted sold out. So I finally got the purple one and I wasn't kind of like sure about it. But it is the most prettiest pinkish, kind of like slightly on the purplish uh, kind of tint color. You know the benefit? They have like the purple tint. I think they have the posy tint and they have this one tint that was more like an orchid color. It's that color, you guys. So if you guys want something like that, but like more long lasting, definitely check this one out. And oh my god, you guys, the packaging is so fancy. Super fancy. And look at this. Bam. 
Aside from the packaging and aside from the design and everything, I love the lasting power of this lipstick. I remember when I ordered this from Shop and Box, I had no expectation whatsoever from this lipstick because I thought like, oh, it's a cute packaging, you know. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be that good, you know. But I was wrong, you guys. This thing lasts forever and I remember last night I put a little bit of this and I went out to meet like my friends because they had like a little gathering and then I took Kamja with me and we went out together when I came back I just washed my face and everything and I slept and this morning when I woke up I saw myself in the mirror and my lips were still tinted but in a good way so I was like oh snap we can just wear this at night and if you guys are on a date or like if you guys are with your boyfriend or like on Valentine's Day you guys are staying over you want to look really cute in the morning mm-hmm this is the product right here. Okay, the last item that I'm gonna show you guys are all from Kylie Cosmetics. So I got four of the liquid lipstick and then I also got the lip liner. I love the lip liner because I, I'm using it now as like a lip concealer for some of them because they're really nudey. So I got Candy K, Coco K, Kristen, and Posy K. Out of all these four, to be honest, for Asian skin tone, go for Kristen and Posy K. If you guys love like the Korean makeup style, definitely check Kristen and Posy K out. It will still look good on like very Korean kind of style makeup, but if you guys are more into like Western makeup, definitely check out Candy K and Coco K because it's a lot more nudier and but still has a little tinge of pink color in it. But I personally not a big fan of you know nudie stuff, so I'm gonna pass on Candy K and Coco K. But I love Posy K. Posy K is definitely wearable pink, but it has a little bit of a purple in it so it's beautiful I would say yeah I love it I've been wearing it a lot on like day-to-day -day basis throughout the winter and I like to layer it with like other products as well so definitely highly recommend Posy K but Kristen on the other hand it's a beautiful orangey red color and it just brings out your skin tone so definitely check Kristen out if you guys want a safer option you guys don't want to like spend like money on like other color Kristen is definitely pretty but if you guys are like, I'm more like a pink kind of girl, Posy K. Last summer, I went to Sunsu and my aunt is really good friend of the director of Sunsu. He is so talented, you guys. I really look up to him in this industry because he is really creative, he's very driven, very hardworking, and from what I can tell, like he's one of those people that really are successful but very humble. So I look up to him a lot and I just really think that he is one of those people that you know will do well in this industry like for the long run and i really wish him all the best but yeah i went there anyways coming back to sunsu i went to sunsu like last summer and um i had a little interview and i filmed that but i kind of lost the footage i think one of my camera got corrupted or like one of the memory got corrupted so i'm definitely gonna go back and try to refilm so Lee Sun Chao Deppyeonnim introduced me to the makeup artists that were working at Sunsu as well and she's a makeup artist for Blackpink and Sonia Shide, Red Velvet and all the big names. A lot of big name celebrity go to Sunsu and get their makeup done and also hair. So we did a video where like she put on makeup on me. She used a really beautiful shimmery like stick shadow and I was like, "Oh my god, what is this?" And she was like, "Oh, it's this one from Sephora." And I actually took a photo of it like all the big name like girl groups are using this girl I need to know and I'm gonna tell all my friends to get it so I'm like one of those people if I know something I'm like oh my god guys you have to get this so it's the Sephora colorful shadow and liner and it's in color number 20 beige glitter beige glitter and this is like seriously the most beautiful goldish champagne kind of color shimmery eyeshadow that's how it looks like it's so pretty and I've been wearing this a lot on my ego style which is like right here and sometimes right on the inner corner just to like make my eyes like look more awake and popping you know what I'm saying so that's it for my haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out shop and box because I legit love shopping for them and this is not a sponsored video they're not paying me for this video I just really like it and I've been really wanting to find like a good website to like get a lot of stuff from the US so maybe next time I'll be doing more haul from them as well so if you guys have any like recommendations on like US makeup please let me know in the comment down below because I do want to try more on that anyways that's all for today's video and I'll see you guys later Annyeong!